Let's go, baby. Cowards, don't get snug me, you fing bitch. <laughs> I just dropped that on my head. That didn't even go to fing. Um, anyways. This is the Miami Heat's Myers Leonard on his own Twitch channel. Grab it, I gotta take a quick phone call. Yep. Leonard, playing Call of Duty Warzone, got mad when someone shot at him. So he swore multiple times and angrily, more so casually, dropped an anti-Semitic slur. He then claims he has to log off for the rest of the day because his wife needs him. Yo, my wife needs me. She just called me. I'll, uh, I gotta roll, brother. Likely what occurred were his reps calling and game planning how to weather the storm he created. It is inexcusable. But after all, this is the same Myers Leonard who was the lone player on his team in the NBA's Orlando bubble to stand for the playing of the national anthem. So Leonard is now away from the team, a team owned by Mickey Arison, a man who is from Tel Aviv, Israel. Leonard gave a statement of his own via his Instagram. While I didn't know what the word meant at the time, what? My ignorance about its history and how offensive it is to the Jewish community is absolutely not an excuse, and I was just wrong. He promised to do better and educate himself. The part that gets me is the, while I didn't know what the word meant. Let's go, baby. Cowards, don't get snug me, you fing bitch. <laughs> this is a little too casual, my guy. Myers Leonard said he didn't know what the word meant. That would be like, imagine you adopt a kid who had never heard rap before and you play him some Drake and he asks, can you play some Benny the Butcher? And you're like, what? And he's like, nah, sorry, didn't know what I just said. The esports community also gave Leonard a goodbye wave. FaZe Clan said it was cutting ties with him and a number of other gaming companies, including Astro Gaming and Origin PC, have severed their relationships. The gaming sponsorships are gone. Yet unsurprisingly, Leonard played with Symphony, a Twitch streamer who said this. I mean, myth, I'm, I mean, I'm down to go on a hike today. I'm not, I'm down to go on a hike tomorrow. Actually, I can't tomorrow, but. Why Tuesday, bro? Let's go, let's go Monday. Dude, you know what I like? Ellington. You don't, you don't like what? Oh, I'm dead. I'm on my way. Oh, let's see. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually dead, I'm dude. Sure what, yeah. Symphony casually dropped the N word on his own stream. When FaZe Swag, a black gamer, asked Symphony what happened, Symphony intentionally put him off and denied ever using it. I mean, he denied, denied, denied over and over again. There's a history here of gamers and streamers just casually dropping slurs. Arguably the biggest streamer pre Nick Merckx was Ninja, who said the N word multiple times on his stream, not once or twice, multiple. The culture of streaming flat out needs to change. One thing I've seen in the wake of this news is you should have been in COD lobbies back in the day and this is soft. I was, I was. And that is not an excuse for what is occurring right now. As Keith Smith wrote on Twitter, the only bad takes related to the use of offensive slurs are the ones defending the use of offensive slurs. Currently, Leonard is out for the rest of the season with an injury at its conclusion. He has a team option for the following season. Anna Horford, the sister of OKC's Al Horford, put out a few really good tweets. He made an excuse when he said he didn't know what it meant and he's apologizing because he got caught. If he truly wants to change as a human being, we'll see it in his future actions. Until then, we have a right to be skeptical. When people show you who they are, believe them. When a commenter wrote to Anna, I'd be willing to bet he didn't know what it meant. She strongly replied, do you usually use words without knowing their meaning? It's a very distinctive word. He knew, to which I concur.